Hey guys this is Ganshim welcome to the world trending news subscribe our channel for more updates. Rip Lorenzo Taliaferro Liberty, 9-1, and Coastal Carolina, 9-0, met on the gridiron every year from 2003 through 2016. During both schools' time in the Big South, the conference championship went through one of the two programs. In 2017, Coastal began their move to the FBS and Sun Belt Conference, and the series came to an end until COVID altered everyone's 2020 schedule, and the two will become familiar with one another once again. This is the first of six matchups which have been added to future schedules, as the teams will also meet in 2023, 2024, 2027, 2028, and 2029. The series is currently tied at 7 7, but Saturday will be the first between the two as FBS members. Here's a brief look at the previous 14 meetings November 15, 2003, Liberty 38, Coastal 21. Liberty scored 31 points in the second half to knock off the Chanticleers 38 21 in the program's first ever meeting. The Flames were paced by Eugene Goodman and Sam Gato, who both rushed for over 100 yards on the day. Goodman finished with 190 yards rushing. October 23, 2004, Coastal 33, Liberty 6 The Chanticleers scored the first 33 points of the game prior to Sam Gato's 97-yard kickoff return for touchdown as Coastal won 33-6. Coastal was paced by Mike Tolbert's 107 rushing yards and one touchdown on just 10 carries. Liberty was held to just 143 total yards and had three interceptions. October 22, 2005, Coastal 27, Liberty 21, 3 OT. 14th-ranked Coastal was able to outlast the Flames as they picked up their first and only win in Lynchburg. Coastal was led by quarterback Tyler Thigpen who threw for 241 yards and one touchdown. Quarterback Brock Farrell led the Flames in passing and rushing combining for 310 yards and three touchdowns on the afternoon. October 28, 2006, Coastal 28, Liberty 26 The upstart Flames led by first-year head coach Danny Rocco was unable to pull off the upset as they fell to the Chanticleers 28-26. Coastal scored 21 of their points in the fourth quarter as they overcame a 13-7 deficit early in the period. Tyler Thigpen led the chance with 257 yards passing and two touchdowns, while receiver Jerome Simpson had 145 yards receiving and one touchdown. The Flames were paced by Zach Terrell's 114 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to further information regarding world trending news, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon, and like and share with your family. Thank you very much for watching our video.